Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we're gonna be covering two different looks within Microsoft Outlook. We actually had a commenter request this video topic and we thought it'd be a good idea. So we're gonna cover that today. Before we get started, if you're interested in your own copy of Microsoft Office or other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have all the links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's begin today's video. All right, so we've got Outlook open, and first we're gonna show you how to switch between this modern Outlook and the legacy version. Click on help at the very top, scroll down and click revert to legacy Outlook. Okay, and then here we go, we've got before you go, and I'm just gonna leave this blank and press submit. All right, and as you can see, we are back in the legacy version of Outlook. Now you can see that little switch I was talking about, so we could toggle between the two. Now, the main difference in Outlook that we're gonna see is the layout of the tabs and ribbons. So this is gonna look just like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, all of those applications still look today on Mac, whereas the legacy version is not gonna have these ribbons at the top, rather it's all gonna be included, or most of the little drop down menus and things like that are all gonna be in the finder tabs. So in my opinion, it's a little bit more difficult to navigate through all of these different little menus rather than having the traditional ribbons. So I prefer the legacy look myself, but it's entirely up to you. All right, so what I'm gonna do for the rest of the video is just keep it pretty basic, but we're gonna show you guys how different features work in the legacy version and the modern version. So we're gonna turn on new Outlook and here we are. So it looks pretty similar to Gmail if you're familiar with Gmail. We've got the same folder layout. We have the same calendar and people icons at the bottom left. If we wanna to get to our to-do list, we're gonna click on these three little dots to the right. We've also got notes right here. And then we're gonna have a very, very simplified ribbon at the top. So we'll have sync, mark on red, flag, move, archive, and delete. And of course, new message, new event, new contact. Now, similar to the legacy Outlook, if I click on new message, I'm gonna have another tiny little ribbon that appears right here. We have way more options of the legacy Outlook all within this ribbon. But if we want those options here, we're gonna find them at the top. Underneath tools, we have sync, rules. We have formatting options right here. We also have a little ribbon right here with some of those basic formatting options. So you might look at this as being more simple, but if you're used to using rules and things like that, you're kind of gonna have to look through right here to get to those. Now you can always search for emails in the search bar at the top if you're looking for something specific. And with the help tab, we can search for any different tool that we're looking for. All right, let's say you wanna make a new folder. In Legacy Outlook, we right click here, we can make a new folder, but on Mac, we have to do File, New, and Folder is right here. Again, we can always search for something like that in Help. So I'd highly recommend, while you're getting used to this, referring back to that search. It's gonna show you where it is. It's gonna point it out to you. And now we're gonna cover different ways to customize Outlook, whether we're in the old or the new version. So we'll stay in new Outlook for now, and then we'll revert back to Legacy again. So if you wanna adjust different sizes of your screen, we're gonna hold our mouse cursor in between two sections here. So between the inbox and the body of this new message, I can click and drag and adjust the screen widths of what I'm working with here. If we wanna customize the UI of Outlook, we're gonna to go to the top where it says Outlook and we'll click preferences. And under general, we have our different themes. So we have light, dark, system, and we can choose different colors, density, etc. And just like in the legacy Outlook, we have drop down arrows here. These are going to hide or reveal different sections of our folders or inbox. All right, so we're back on legacy Outlook. We have similar organization features here. We can organize our screen however we please by clicking and dragging between two windows. We can do the same thing for our navigation on the left, which is pretty helpful. And then if we wanted to change dark mode or themes, same thing, Outlook, preferences, general, and then here we just have a button to turn off dark mode. It's a little bit less customization there. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Now, I quickly wanted to mention that if you're using Outlook 2021, for example, and you have the new versus old and you're working together with your work, you should be able to revert to that legacy look if you wanna keep it that way and still work with everybody on the team without being unable to collaborate on certain things. Again, if you're interested in Microsoft Office or other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have all those links in the description box below. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.